least five years old. But I am five. I'm more than five. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. The only thing wrong my big brother Charlie Brown is this lack of confidence. His inferiority and his lack of confidence. His clumsiness, his inferiority, and his lack of confidence. His stupidity, his clumsiness, his inferiority, his lack of confidence. Charlie Brown! Did you know that Charlie Brown has never successfully punted a football, never pitched a winning baseball game, never kept a kite in the air, and never won a game of checkers? Sometimes I marvel at his consistency. I think Charlie Brown has nice hands. It truly is a dog's life, a life of challenges. You try acting excited when that round-headed kid comes home from school. Now, Linus, I want you to take a good look at Charlie Brown's face. Would you hold still a minute, Charlie Brown? Now, this is what you call a failure face, Linus. Notice, it has failure written all over it. Study it carefully, Linus. You rarely see such a good example. Some days I like to get up early and watch the sunrise, and I think to myself how beautiful it is, how my life lies before me. Like this morning, for instance. The sun is so bright and the sky is so clear. How could anything go wrong on a day like this? I'm late! <laughs> if I could sit with her, she'd probably laugh right in my face. It's hard on the face when it gets laughed in. There's an empty spot right next to her on that bench. There's no reason why I couldn't go over there and eat, ask if I could sit and eat there. Why couldn't I just, I could do that right now, as a matter of fact. All I have to do is stand up. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. I'm a coward. I'm so much of a coward she probably wouldn't even think of looking at me. She hardly ever does look at me. In fact, I can't remember one time she's ever looked at me. Why shouldn't she look at me? Is she so great and I'm so small that she's looking at me? No, Sally, you're thinking of the other dress, the one I wore to listen to this party. You know, the very light blue one with the embroidery around the waist. I don't remember. Uh, it was sort of like this. It had a skirt that went out like this, these puffy sleeves, and a sash like this. Oh, yes, I remember. Yes, that was the one that I wore when I met Frida last week, and she said that she'd seen one just like it. Lunchtime is among the worst times of the day for me. If that little red-headed girl sees me with this stupid bag over my head, she must think I'm the biggest fool alive. Then again, if she isn't looking, then maybe I could take it off and she'd never notice it. But if I never take it off, I know I'll never have to know if she was looking or not. On the other hand, I'll never know if she was looking or not if I never take it off. And again, it is very hard to breathe in here. She's not looking at me. I wonder why she never looks at me. Oh, oh well, one more lunch hour over with. 
Only 2,863 to go. Sally? I don't know. Everything is fine. I was jumping rope. Then suddenly, it all seems so futile. Beethoven used to be fond of taking long walks in the country. He was always inspired by the beautiful sounds of the countryside. <laughs> Beethoven had it nice. I think I'll just walk right up to that little red-headed girl and introduce myself. I think I'll introduce myself, and then I think I'll ask her to come and sit by me. I think I'll ask her to come and sit by me, and then I think I'll tell her how much I've always admired her. I think I'll just flap my arms and fly to the moon. Yesterday, I was a dog. Today, I'm a dog. Tomorrow, I'll probably still be a dog. There's just so little hope of advancement. Hey, Charlie Brown, guess what today is? It's April Fool's Day. I think I'll play a little trick on you. I think I'll try a little trick. You understand that today is April Fool's Day. Are you sure? I want to be positive that you understand that today is April Fool's Day. Are you sure? Okay. Hey, Charlie Brown, guess what? That little redhead girl's over there, and she wants to give you a big hug and kiss. Really? Wow, this is fantastic. April Fool's, <laughs> just like shooting fish in a barrel. Do you see the stick? I, the human being, will throw the stick, and you, the dog, will retrieve it. I, the dog, could not be less interested. Ha! I got it! I got it! Ah! You're giving back my blanket! No, I've got it and I'm keeping it. This is just the start that you need to help me break this disgusting habit. Well, apparently you haven't read the latest scientific articles. It states that a pocket is as important to a child as a hobby is to an adult. Many a man spends his time restoring old automobiles, or collecting model trains, or collecting even old telephones, leaving 
can accomplish with some smooth talking and some fast action. <laughs> Got your back again.
is, is just a matter of knowing the right people. I've been a few well-pleased correspondents, and I could be queen in no time. I think I'll watch television. If I can't be queen, then I will be very rich. And I will work, and I will work until I am very rich. And when I am very rich, I will go and I will buy myself a queendom. Good grief! Yes, I will buy myself a queendom and I will go off and I will kick out the old queen and then I will be head queen and yes. Now, switch channels! What makes you think you could do that? I'm not one of your royal subjects! These five fingers, individually they are nothing. When I curl them into a single unit, they are a fighting force terrible to behold. Yes, Your Majesty. Why can't you guys get organized like that? How are you today, Sally? I'm mad! I'm mad the whole world! Are you mad at everybody in the whole world? Yes, I'm mad at everybody! Are you mad at all the animals and the birds and the fish? How about all the trees and the flowers? Yes, I'm mad at them too! I'm mad at everything! Are you mad at the sky and the stars? Are you mad at the ground? Are you mad at the rocks? Are you mad at cars, buildings, TV services, roller skates, and bracelets? You didn't mention jump ropes! Are you mad at jump ropes? I'm especially mad at stupid jump ropes! This is for you, Patty. Happy Valentine's Day. No, that doesn't sound right. Here, Patty, this is for you. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, you can do this if you just don't get nervous. This is for you, Patty. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, you can do this. Hey there, Charlie Brown. Hey, Patty. Happy birthday. Ah, I can't stand it. Look at them laughing with their stupid Valentines. I sent a Valentine to everybody I know this Valentine's Day. And did I get one in return? No, I did not get one single Valentine. Nobody likes me. I get about as many Valentines as a dog. Oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> Oh, Lucy, I'm so depressed. I'm sorry to hear that, Charlie Brown. Maybe there's something I could do to help. I think what you need most of all is to come right out and admit all the things that are wrong with you. You really think that will help, Lucy? Certainly. All right, I'll try. I'm not very handsome or clever or lucid. I've always been stupid at spelling and numbers. I've never been much playing football, or baseball, or stickball, or checkers, or marbles, or ping pong. I'm usually awful at parties and dances. I stand like a stick, or I cough, or I laugh, or I don't bring a present, or I spill the ice cream. I get so depressed that I stand and I scream, oh how could there possibly be one small person as Utterly, thoroughly, blah, as me. Well, that's okay for a starter. A starter? Well, sure, you don't think that mentioning these few superficial failings is going to do you any good? I mean, Charlie Brown, you really have to delve. You're stupid, self-centered, and moody. I'm moody. You're terribly dull to be with. Yes, I am. And nobody likes me, not Frida, or Shermie, or Linus, or Schroeder. Or Lucy. Or Lucy. Or Snoopy. Or Snoop. Now wait a minute, Snoopy likes me. He only pretends to like you because you feed him. That doesn't count. Or Snoopy. Oh, why was I born just to be? One small person as thoroughly, totally, utterly. Wait! You're not very much of a person. That's certain. And yet, there is a reason for hope. There's hope? For although you are not good at music, like Schroeder, or happy, like Snoopy, or lovely, like me, you have the distinction to be. No one else but the singular, remarkable, unique Charlie Brown. I'm me. Brown, you're you. Gosh, Lucy, I'm starting to feel better already. You're a true friend, Lucy, a true friend. That'll be five cents, please.
Carter, do piano players make a lot of money? Money? Who cares about money? This is art, you blockhead. This is great music I'm playing. And play, playing great music is an art. Do you hear me? An art, 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 art. You fascinate me. All right, everybody out for rabbit chasing. Oh, good grief. Come on, Snoopy. Up and at it. It's a magnificent day for chasing rabbits. The air is clear, the sun is shining, the fields and woodlands lie open and inviting. If it's such a magnificent day, why spoil it for the rabbits? Come on, Snoopy. Where's that old thrill of a chase? Where's your spirit of adventure? What kind of dog are you anyway? I'm a sleeping dog. You take it from me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Wasting a perfectly good day like this. The scent is fresh, the trail is clear. Let's get out there and track us down a big old rabbit. Well, I got feeling she's determined. Well, if she's that desperate, she might as well get her mind worse. Attaboy, Snoopy, we ought to see lots of game today. Go, go! Oh yeah, that's what you think. Oh yeah, that's what you think. What? That's my new philosophy. Oh yeah, that's what you think. Well, why are you telling me? Huh? Why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? I like it. Awesome even. That is a great, that's good philosophy. Why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? Charlie Brown, 
I got even with them, though. I said, you think you're so great, Mozart was writing symphonies when he was your age. That really shut him up. I bet it did. Now, if we all really bear down and grit our teeth, <coughs> perhaps you should be playing manager, Charlie Brown. Perhaps you should, perhaps you should be playing bench manager. That's a good idea. You'd be a great bench manager, big brother. You could say, bench you this, or bench you that. You could even be in charge of where we put the bench. When we go on the playing field, you could say, let's put the bench over here, or let's put the bench over there. I can't stand it. I don't know what the point of us playing is if we know we're going to lose. If there was even a million to one chance that we might win, maybe it'd make some sense. Well, it might not be a million to one chance, but I'm sure that there's at least a billion to one chance. Pal, you'll never guess what happened today at the baseball game. It's hard to believe what happened today at the baseball game. I was the manager, Schroeder was catcher, and all of the team was the same as always. But somehow or other, disaster struck at the baseball game. Huddle up! Bases were loaded with two men out. I pitched my curve, but somehow he hit it a good strong clout. Lucy, I hollered, it's coming right to you. She caught it as easy as pie and dropped it. I don't think it's good for a team's morale to see their manager cry. Snoopy helped out by fighting a runner and catching the ball in his teeth. Linus caught flies from a third story window by holding his blanket beneath. Yes, we had four to two, no one could argue with that. And one run would win us the game as I came up to bat. With two outs and me with one strike to go. Then I saw her, this cute little red headed girl I know. Firmly I vowed I would win it for her, and I shouldered my back and I swung. Dear pen pal, Told where you live is really quite far. Can you please send directions on how I can get where you are? Your friend, Charlie Brown.
there sits my supper dish, empty, but that's all right. He'll remember. When no furry friend comes to greet him after school, then he'll remember. And he'll rush out here to the doghouse, but it'll be too late. There will be nothing but the dried carcass of the former friend who used to love to run and play so happily with him. Nothing but the bleached puppy bones of... brought forth to ease our hunger. Behold the flowing flagon moist and sweet, which has been sent to slake our thirst. Hey, you need to be a bit production. Just get that off that doghouse and eat. Do 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 It's supper time. Oh, it's supper time. Oh, it's up, sup, supper time. Very best time of day. It's supper time. Oh, it's supper time. And when supper time comes, can supper be far away? Bring on the dog dish, bring on the cup, bring on the bacon and fill me up. Cause it's supper, 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 supper time. Da do da da, da do da 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 da, supper time. the dog, bring on the bone, bring on the barrel and roll me home cause it's supper, 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 super pepper up a supper, super duper supper time. marks all over it. She nibbles her pencil. Happiness is finding a pencil. Pizza with sausage in the time. Happiness is learning to whistle. Tying Happiness is walking hand in hand. Happiness is two kinds of ice cream. No, we go seafood. a dream. Happiness is five different crayons. Catching a firefly. Happiness is being alone every now and then. And happiness is coming home again. Happiness is morning and evening, daytime and night
Charlie Brown. <laughs>